What's up everybody, TCM here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at the new Kali Linux, the 2023.1 edition. Now there are two editions in 2023.1, there is the standard edition, and then there is the purple edition, which everybody's talking about, and that's the background of my screen that you can see right now. So we're going to take a look at both versions. We'll talk about what updates have been done to the latest version of Kali Linux. And I'll just give you my overall thoughts on what we're seeing here. So as always, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're almost at 500,000 subscribers. We should hit it by the end of the month. So thank you, everybody. Big update coming for the 500,000. I'll see you in that video. But without further ado, let's get into the new Kali Linux. There are a ton of vulnerabilities out there, from remote code execution to prototype pollution and even SQL injection, just to name a few. As an ethical hacker, I love exploiting these types of vulnerabilities, but also running a development team, I hate seeing these types of vulnerabilities show up in our applications. That's where Sneak comes in. Sneak automatically scans your code, dependencies, containers, and configurations finding and automatically fixing vulnerabilities in real time. So here's how easy this is. You can use my link, sneak.co forward slash the cyber mentor. Come to the landing page here and hit sign up. Once you're signed up, you can come in here and add a project. I'm gonna select a project from GitHub. And once your project's imported, Sneak finds your vulnerabilities and you can fix them with just a click. Watch this. I come into here, I can open a fix PR or a pull request. And Sneak opens fixed PR so you can merge and move on. Plus, it does it all from your existing tools, IDEs, CLI, repos, pipelines, Docker Hub, and more. And look how easy that was to just do a pull request with these issues in hand. It's amazingly fast. So what are you waiting for? Come check out Sneak and find out if there's any vulnerabilities within your projects. It's free, and you can sign up using my link at sneak.co forward slash the cyber mentor. Okay, before we dive into the new Kali Linux, let's take a quick look at the release notes. So if we scroll down on this page, it'll tell you what has been changed in the 2023.1 edition compared to the 2022.4 edition. Now, the biggest thing that they're hyping is Kali Purple, and that's what we're going to spend most of our time on today. There are some changes to Kali Linux in general. We'll talk about the installation and some of that as well. Uh, the other big change is Python 3.11. We'll talk about why that's important and what you should be cautious about. And then they do have some theme updates some desktop updates. We're not going to really get into that. We'll look at some of the theme changes they did. Uh, but overall, if you wanted to check it out, you can go to their website and actually look at some of the updates they have in here. They talk about all the different tools they've added. They talk about some of the different changes and some of the things to be cautious about and aware of. Uh, ultimately, we'll cover a lot of this in the video as well. So with that, I have one other thing that I want to point out. So there are two different ways to install Kali Linux currently. So if you go to get Kali on the website, typically what I like to do is I like to go to virtual machines and just click on that and scroll down and download. And you have your options here. So if I want a 64 bit download, I can just download it for VMware or VirtualBox or whatever I need. And that's great. Now, this is only the Kali Linux standard edition. This does not count for the purple edition. If you want the purple edition, you actually have to download the ISO file up here. There's only one installer. So right here, you can download Kali purple, hit download here. It's an ISO file. That means you have to build it all yourself. Now, they want you to do customization on here. And some of the images, even in the, the details of the walkthrough, show you that they want you to have the ability to customize and install the tools and packages you want. I appreciate that. They have that for other versions of Kali. However, I do wish just the lazy me wishes that there was already a downloadable version that you can just install and run for VMware. So hopefully in later versions that comes up just a personal gripe. But otherwise, uh, it was easy to download, install and run uh, as an experienced Linux user. All right. Now we are on Kali purple here and let's quickly define what purple means. In the security world, we have red and blue. Red is offensive, blue is defensive. When you combine red and blue, you get purple. And with that, you get this mixture of purple teaming. So the idea of red and blue working together. So that's kind of what the idea of Cali Purple is. It's red team tools and blue team tools. So you get the mixture of both, and now you have this purple team tool set. 
So it's great for offensive security, it's great for defensive security, and it's great for those that work kind of in between. There's roles in red, blue, and purple teaming out there. So it's an intent to become a complete package for uh, for users on both sides of the field. Now, if we come in here and we look at really what's different here, the big difference is this identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. These five sections right here. And what are these? Well, these align with the NIST framework. Now, if we take a look at Cali Purple versus just the new edition of 2023.1, if I just log in really quick here, you can see that the big difference is literally those tool sets. So you have information gathering, vulnerability analysis, all the same stuff for your red teaming toolkit that you typically have. However, now we add in those purple tools. So there are an addition of 100 plus new tools, according to Kali, and a lot of them are interesting. Some of them we actually still use on the offensive side, but I can see the defensive need as well. Like AMAS. AMAS is a tool that we utilize on offensive security side, and it's actually a tool that is in information gathering on uh, typical Kali Linux, which you can see it's also here in information gathering. Uh, but we have tools like Asset Finder, which I use a lot, and then they have defensive tools that are also built into here. So some of these tools are repeats. Some of these tools we do use on the offensive side, but then when we start getting into protect and we start getting into detect, uh, we start getting new tools that we do not have at all in the offensive side of things. So I really like the addition here. Now, I understand the need, again, for the installation package, because when you're installing this, you have the ability to check five boxes. You can say, I want all five of them. I just want one of them. So you can kind of pick and choose the tools that you want, and that's nice. Uh, depending on what size you have for a hard drive or if you want a more compact edition, that's really neat. Uh, for me, I can see real benefit here with Cali Purple for people that just want additional tools at their arsenal. They don't have to go install or download anything. And uh, sometimes it becomes really difficult to install or try installing tools. It's not always the easiest thing. Packages break, repositories change. And so just having those built in in already in a, a repository or in this distribution of Linux, it's really nice. So I do give them credit there. The other big changes that they made, uh, one being the version of Python. So if we look at Python 3 and just do a version check really quick, we'll see that we're on 3.11.2. So that is latest and greatest Python, which is nice. The only downside to this is that things break with new Python. So if you're going to be gung ho, you're going to go out there and you're going to download the latest and greatest, which I did. A lot of people go do just be very cautious when you're installing tools. There's a good chance that things are going to break. There's also a advisory that's been put out on the offensive security website about using pip. A lot of us just do pip install, and that is not the recommended way of doing things in this version of Kali. And they walk you through how you should use app to install your Python module. So keep that in mind. Latest and greatest Python, always nice to have. However, things change, modules change, repositories break. It happens all the time. So always keep a backup. Always use a older version of Kali Linux to have your set toolkit on. But if you want to try building out your new toolkit and moving some stuff over to the newest and latest and greatest version of Kali, always welcome to do so. Just know that some things will likely break. It's how it always works with any new version of Linux. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, the other thing that's on here are the images. So there's some new cool, fun images. If we go to desktop settings in here, uh, we can look at some of the pictures. So we've got the Kali Purple Edition that's on here. Uh, we also just have the standard Kali Linux. This is what was on the other one as well. If we just look at that same background. Uh, we come in here, we've got the kind of traditional Kali background that we're used to seeing. And then we've got some other fun ones. We've got like this one in here. Uh, we've got this one as well, which I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of. It's just like a blurry terminal, but it is what it is. And then this one's kind of like the Metasploit looking edition, which is kind of neat. So uh, it looks like they've got some different um, Metasploit types. Or we've got this MSF Venom here, which is kind of cool. It's just like a kind of chaotic background, which is which is interesting. It's got the social engineering toolkit, it looks like. Uh, these are all just little macros that are, are pretty neat. So um, overall, 
do I think it's a positive change? Yeah, I think that we're in version one and with version one, we're probably going to experience bugs. Uh, we're going to experience some some issues, some pains, and hopefully that uh, offensive security will listen to the community and will update and change as things go. Uh, I like the direction of where things are going with having a purple team addition. I like the direction of where uh, we're, we're headed with this because it just adds more tools and, and just adds more items to your, your Swiss army knife in, in a lack of better words. So um, I look forward to them updating this and improving this. Hopefully they add a VMware edition or a different virtual machine editions. That would be nice to see. But overall, good idea, uh, good execution so far. And I'm excited to come in here and play around with it more than I already have and uh, migrate a lot of my attacking toolkit over to the, the newest version of Kali. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you found it informative. And until next time, my name is the Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.